hello <laughs> welcome back to another video my name is alexis ajay for those of you who do not know me and those who do thank you for coming back thank you for hitting the subscribe button i am back on youtube again we took a long break um i've explained why in previous videos so if you guys want to know just check them out or i'll make sure i link like the videos that are relevant to why i went missing for a little while at the end of this video so this is just like a catch-up vlog kind of thing i mean i don't know how i'm gonna put this video together i'm thinking to make it part of a vlog or separately we'll see but um yeah today i just wanted to kind of share with you what's new in my life what's happening um new purchases just new stuff really new things that have come through yeah new things that have happened new purchases new things that have come through without i don't want to start waffling so i'm just gonna get into the video so first things first we're under new management yay and um i couldn't be more happier my manager is absolutely awesome like she's just so amazing she has moved mountains so far for me very professional and um yeah i mean she just knows herself she's been in the industry for a long time and when she approached me you know one of the things that she said to me that made me because i was actually with another manager before i moved and but one of the things that she said to me was that you know I know your grind, I know where you've been, I know, I understand it. She was like, I too was outside Somerset House, which is like where Fashion Week, London Fashion Week used to be held. And you know, she used to organize the shows for London Fashion Week. She's done, she's been, she, you know, she's been there, she's done it, she understands. And obviously she watched my Get To Know Me video and she just loved like my growth and my drive and my tenacity and just my journey really. She kind of just fell in love with me as you should so um you know that was a re like it was she was absolutely godsend at the right time and i'm just so happy i'm really really happy where i'm at. i'm not saying i wasn't happy before but um she really gets it and really understands you know the industry fashion high fashion control fashion like the things that i'm actually quite afraid to talk about online because i feel like i'm not yet qualified but I've been doing this for a long time. I've been in the game for a long time. I just really suppressed it. So um, I can have those conversations with her and we just really love fashion together. Like it's more than just buying clothes. It's the whole, the style, the designers, the inspirations behind collections, you know, fashion weeks in different countries. Like just, there's just so much behind it and i'm just so happy so that's new that's new and so far she's been doing an amazing job i mean she's got me so many really cute gifts from different prs she has sent me to a lot of events she's just doing what a manager is supposed to do not again i'm saying my last manager wasn't because that's not the case i'm just saying that she was she is like top tier when it comes to this stuff like someone who's experienced in the field so I'm just really really happy to be with her so that's what's new first career wise what else is new um nothing absolutely not as in in my life i don't think anything there's anything particularly that's new um i've just been kind of like putting my head down working really hard to get myself out there in the industry working my ass off doing reels content like i really want to be that girl now like for a long time i felt like i was undeserving of being that person of having a place in the industry for you know just being myself what i can bring to the table what i can bring to the industry my skills my knowledge my style like for a long time i felt like i w i didn't have a place in it because i felt like there wasn't room for me if that makes sense and i felt like you know imposter syndrome i just kept talking myself out of it so i just never um thought i'd deserve a place in industry but now i'm taking the ball by the horns like literally and i'm just going for it because it's what i want and i'm at that age now i'm just like what do i have to lose like what do i really have to lose 
I don't care if people talk about me. I don't care if people ask what is she doing. I don't care if people don't like my style. I don't care about what anyone else thinks about what it is that I'm doing anymore. I used to care a lot, but I don't anymore. So I'm literally just going for it because I know where God wants me to be. I know what he's placed in my heart. I know what my mission is and my way to spread the gospel to the world. And it's through the, in the fashion industry. Um, but I'm just so, so excited for my future, the future of my family, my kids, my husband. I'm just so, so excited. So in that sense, that is what is new um, on that side of things. Moving on to what's new purchases or things that I have. So this year, guys, it's, if I'm being honest, it's been a quiet year. I haven't bought a lot of things. I've really just been quite disciplined really and there's just a lot of things happening right now and a lot of things that our money has been put into and we want to be really smart about our investments and things i mean last year we bought a lot of things so i don't feel like this year lots of purchases need to be made i just i've just been buying as i really need if that makes sense of course i would like a new bag of course i would like like 10 pairs of new shoes but the reality is I have to be smart about our money and like i said there's just a lot of things that we're trying to invest in this year and get off the ground so there hasn't been that many luxury purchases there's been a few high street ones but even then not really so let's get into it i just want to share what's new and i'll probably talk about some of the things i don't have all the things here but i'll talk about what's new um so i said my birthday outfit my birthday outfit was from ash you guys loved that outfit like i didn't realize it would be so popular and it was actually a lot of people thought it was a dress but it's actually um a top and skirt from Aj and i bought it from selfridges and i tried it on i was like this is such a fitting birthday outfit like it's so cute and it just makes sense so i just and i didn't really look around much i didn't even have that much time i got to selfridges like eight o'clock in the evening and i'm sure they close at 10 or something or 9 30 so i didn't have that much time to browse i literally was in and out found the pair of shoes that I wanted to wear with it. It was actually a, a toss up between um, a pair of Rene Covila shoes, like high heels, the ones with the, the crystal um, snake around the ankle, or a pair of I mean, Amina Mawadi's. And I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but I love Amina Mawadi shoes. That's not a secret. I shared it on my socials. I absolutely adore her as a person. Obviously, I don't know her personally, but just her style, the way she carries herself. I just absolutely, I'm a fan girl of Amina Mawadi. So if you're ever watching this, Amina, just know that I absolutely adore you. You can do no wrong in my eyes. So um, I opted for her new Lily um, sandals. I actually wanted the yellow one because the dress had yellow and pink in it, but they only had the purple and the black. And I thought, you know what? I don't have a pair of purple shoes shoes i've got quite a few green shoes which is quite close to yellow in a way like citrusy color so i just thought let me get a pair of purple shoes so i got the lilac ones and i absolutely love them ever since i got them i've been wearing them with everything love 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 them now they're not the most comfortable if i'm being honest i don't know if it's because i've got wider feet but um i still love them i still wear them they're not curb to car or car to curb you can wear them for a little while. I wore them the whole day for my birthday. So you can wear them for a little while, for a long while, but I would just say they're not as comfortable as her Begums. For me, those are the most comfortable pair of minimal ideas that I own. So new in are these little puppies. They're so cute, so dainty, so pretty. They practically go with everything or I make them go with everything. Like I'm just that kind of person. Like if I love something, I'm gonna wear it with everything and yeah they just i just love them they're complete satin which it, it's very delicate like there's already like tone marks on them i don't think you can see them but there's already like tone marks on them like when i had to try them on the selfridges they were very adamant about wearing stockings because of how delicate the satin is and obviously we don't want sweaty footprints in shoes that you're just trying on and not buying so yeah i absolutely love these these are my third pair of amina mawadis and i will be collecting more as time goes on but i just absolutely love these they're so stunning so what else is next up these jeans oh no oh yeah i think i've got quite a few new things actually that i do need to show you but i think they will be no i've shown you them they'll be in another i think they'll be in the vlog my purchases from Netta Porter 
they will be in the vlog so that's fine um i did get another pair of cargo what they called? cargo ooh, cargo pants yeah cargo pants right so yeah these ones are from h&m okay so you can't really see it but i will do an outtake for you guys so you can see but they're really nice i'll stand on here so you can see them they're so nice they're literally they were 19 pounds in the sale i think they're from 40 pounds to 19 pounds and they're like a dark denim really really love them super comfortable lovely denim not cheap feeling or stretchy or anything like that they work perfectly so that's what i'm wearing today and then obviously i have another pair that i got from girlfriend from netta porter so i have two pairs now and i've actually found another dupe on asos that i'm gonna order they are a dupe of the attico ones that are 700 pounds and i'm not paying 700 pounds for cargo pants so i'm gonna get the dupes from asos i just want to show you some perfumes i've also got which are new in so new in is some perfumes so i got this ysl one for my birthday from um one of my friends i can't remember which one it is but yeah i love the smell of it i'm wearing it today actually oh, i love like sandalwood and i just love musky perfume that's like me like fresh daisy flowery ones are fine but for me like i love the musk so i'm wearing this with um my grand store by mfk you can never say the brand but the, that's my combination today then i got these two from brown's beauty which was sent to me and i wasn't sure there were blind buys by blind choices because i didn't even know what they smelled like and this is what they had online and i really wanted some good perfume so this is the fugazi one and this is the bdk one which i love both of them the BDK one's a bit more sweet, a bit more flowery, but I do love it. I mix it with some of my other perfumes that I have upstairs. And then the Fogazi one, again, it's quite, it's a bit citrusy and a bit flowery, but I still love them. They're all different and that's one thing I love. I don't want to have like the same smells, even though I do love musky perfumes and like sandalwood base and all that kind of stuff. I still really really like fresh smelling daisy flowery perfumes so that's definitely this quite a little bit citrusy but I do love it and then I got this one from Granado pharmacies this was also sent to me and it's very fresh very summery mm, but then I can still smell a bit of musk a little bit of sandalwood yeah i still smell some of that in there which i also love so those are the four new perfumes that i've had in since any video that i've spoken to you guys about anything <sighs> i'm not sure if this box is necessary inside <laughs> right so you guys who have been following me sorry i'm all cut off I'll try and sit in front of the camera. All right, so if you've been following me on Instagram, you know I shared a pair of boots from Brown's Fashion. I actually really love shopping at Brown's. Um, a lot of people don't and don't shop at Brown's. I don't know why, but I really like shopping at Brown's because I feel like they always have like really unique pieces and a lot of the things that are sold out or are like triple the price on Farfetch are on Brown's. So I actually really enjoy shopping at browns if i'm being honest so anyway i um let's give you a little background story so i've worked with browns on two occasions now well kind of like three occasions so the first occasion um i was gifted some credit to buy stuff on browns and this is when i only had like i think i had about ten thousand followers i didn't have that many maybe eleven I don't know anyway they gifted me credit and i was able to buy some stuff that i wanted i shared that on instagram long ago i think i was pregnant with leo israel so i was like trying to hide my pregnancy anyway um <laughs> then the second time was when they launched brown's beauty and they wanted me to get some 
beauty products as amongst anything else that I wanted. So I was able to get, um, oh yeah, that, that's also what's new. My Marine Sierra um, vest, a bit like the Loewe one, which I still don't have, but it's like the Moon Crescent, just in the center of a tank. And I got that amongst this perfume, these two perfumes. This one that I showed earlier and the BDK one. So what happened was I, um, let me just brush my hair because I'm looking real wretchy. So what, hap what had happened was I actually um, ordered all the things. I've also ordered like some lip um, oil, uh, a gua, gu gusha, the other thing that you do for lymphatic massages. I ordered one of those. I ordered some Le Mer products and these perfumes with my credit. And the perfumes were not arriving. I was waiting. I waited, I waited almost six weeks and the perfumes just weren't coming. So I contacted Rounds Customer Services and they were so amazing. They just like, you know what, if it hasn't come, they investigated it obviously. They were not sure why it hadn't come, but they credited me again. So I was able to get something else, which is so sweet of them because I didn't have to do that. And then guess what happened? The perfumes arrived. So <laughs> they arrived literally the next day after all, um, like a few days after receiving the credit. And I was just, so I did go back to them and say, you know, this is a situation that's come now, but they let me, you know, the credit was mine. So here we are, here we are with the new pair of boots. <laughs> so anyway, let's open them up and see what they look like. Ooh, love the box that I'm not going to keep because I never keep boxes. I might keep this box because I don't really have space for boots in my um, closet. So it's a pair of boots from Paris, Texas, which I'm so excited about. I have had my eyes on these boots for so long. Sorry, I just want to take a quick picture. No, so I was saying that I just, I really, really need these boots. So... So I've never been so excited about a pair of boots in my life. As you can tell, I don't have many. Um, and I just, I've always wanted a white pair of boots, but I've just never felt like I found the right one that looks good, that compliments me, that isn't like saggy around the ankles, but you know, just the right structure. And I've had my eye on these boots for about, I had my eye on them for about two weeks. So we have a lovely dust bag here to keep them nice and safe for traveling. Then we have a little, um, yeah, quality original card. Oh yeah, so it's 100% original Italian quality. So it's Italian leather and quality, entirely made in Italy, made with Italian components, made with natural top quality ingredients, or mat ingredients, are we cooking? Materials, made according to the company's exclusive styles and designs, made according to the typical craftsmanship and tradition. So it's legit. Let's just put it that way. It's legit. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Guys, prepare to be sick of me. I am going to limp in these boots. Are you? nuts oh my gosh i've got a size 40 they recommended getting the size up which is what i did i don't have i don't wear size 40 i actually wear size 39 or depends which is very rare 39 and a half but because i said it's a whole size smaller i said i'm gonna size completely up oh 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 she's she's fire she's cute she's gorgeous and it's got this beautiful, I think it's, ooh, crop. I don't even know, alligator, crop skin. Let's have a look at the box details. According to the description, it says printed lizard stiletto boot in vanilla. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. So yeah, lizard print on this Italian leather. Oh, she's so cute. And I'm gonna put her on right now. 
lots and lots and lots of stuff in there come on now when does it end okay i think i think we've got all of it now time to try them on Ugh. okay so i'm not really wearing the right oh no i am wearing the right <laughs> ah! they're so nice <laughs> they're so nice they're so nice okay they're i'm not really showing the best angle okay let's try this side guys oh it's so nice do you know what i honestly have not been this excited about a pair of shoes in my life like i think it's because it's been a long time since i've bought something oh my god my husband's calling me hello guys i'm so excited i'm actually so excited this video is not meant to turn out this way but i might as well just go ahead and tell y'all with my one boot on so your girl is going to new york for fashion week i'm so excited that's basically i've been trying to like i was trying to wait to tell you guys but you know the phone call came through and my husband was just like okay so these are the flights that are available this is the discount we're gonna get and he just wanted to confirm my flight with me so i just wanted to share with you because it's confirmed i'm going to new york for Lo for london for new york fashion week i'm so excited because i've never been to new york in my life i've been wanting to go into new york for ages i wanted to go this year for like just a holiday um but we never got around to it i want oh god god is so good because i was saying to my husband like for my birthday for my actual birthday i want to go paris and new york for my birthday but that didn't turn out that didn't happen so but when it comes to like investing in my business, investing in my craft, investing in my dreams, my husband is down. He's down. Pleasure. Like he enjoys. Like you've seen us. Like you've seen us guys. We've enjoyed life. But when it's time to like crunch time and just work and you know we've got investments and we've got things that we need to do, he's very disciplined. I'm the wildcat. So obviously this wasn't a twang, guys. I, I promise you, it wasn't a twang to get to New York. It kind of just happened. So I'm doing Paris as well, like I did in March, which I'm also excited about. But, um, gosh, we have really digressed. Um, but New York came about when um, one of my friends, I was speaking to one of my friends. Um, you guys know her actually, Jed Jedediah. She was in my Paris vlog. She is the owner and founder of Lao Brands. And we were just talking, 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 talking. And we were talking about Fashion Week and she's like, she's going to New York. And I was like, oh, why are you? She's like, yeah, Alexis, you should come. I was like, mm, I don't know, I'm going to Paris. She's like, no, New York is where the vibe is at. Like, you're going to have so much fun. The way they love British creators, there's so much opportunity. You can really establish yourself there, make a name for yourself there, blah, blah, blah. I was like, mm, okay, maybe this is an option. We'll see. So I spoke, she was on the phone to me while my husband was there. And I was like, oh, what do you think? And he's like, well, dude, let's do the numbers. Let's put it in the budget and see how we can work it in our budget because we budget we gotta be smart about our money you know so we looked at the budget and it was definitely feasible and yeah so i'm going i'm going i've been working we've been working on this for a good two three weeks now or about a month working closely with my manager working with brands trying to see what opportunities we can get out there and yeah i'm sharing it with you guys now because i'm just so excited and these boots were slightly a purchase for new york fashion week but i wasn't sure so if anything obviously i live in the uk i was gonna go london fashion week anyway and it would have got rocked there but new york is gonna see them first <laughs> so yeah like okay you can't see but even like with this um these trousers like i, I need to show you guys because this is i need to show you i need to show you so guys these are the boots this is what they look like obviously i'm wearing my combat um what do you call them? cargo pants that i mentioned earlier on in this video but these are the boots and i just think they're so cool and i could so rock this whole situation right now with a nice varsity jacket or even an oversized blazer like it's giving oh jesus <laughs> is giving what needs to be gave like the boots are booting the boots are booting these boots are made for walking this is just how we do 
One of these, these boots are gonna walk all over you. <laughs> I love them. I love them. I'm gonna really change and put on something like a dress or skirt so you can really, really get into them. Okay, guys, so this is how I wanted to actually wear this to New York Fashion Week. I hope this is from Comia, like I said, it's from a brand that Comia stock. I showed it in a vlog early on previously and I really hope I can still have it for fashion week because this is how I would wear it I'm not gonna lie to you I feel like the look needs like a, a hat or something like a really cool accessory or a pair of really cool glasses that will set this look off completely I hope you guys can see how amazing these boots are like I absolutely adore them they're so fantastic i'll be a fool to go back to my ex-boyfriend but yes that is the boots guys i am perspiring my light is like adding 50 degrees into this room and this jumper another 100 so i'm really really hot right now so i need to take this off um so i'm not going to sit down and finish the video i want to finish it like this and I will see you. I think I'm gonna make it a separate video and put it out. Yeah, I'm just gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed this video and what's new and everything that's been going on in my life. Um, to, to, <laughs> do you know what? I need to stop. Yeah, and I hope you love my new boots just as much as I love them. And I will see you in the next video. Ciao.